Japan holds ancient traditions sacred. Tea with Emperor Akihito and the Empress is considered an honor. The Japanese also revere innovation and are very good at it. Thank you for coming. After his visit with the Emperor, Justin Trudeau shook hands with Asimo, Honda Corporation's humanoid robot. Meeting with the heads of Japan's industry giants, Honda, Subaru and Toyota, is a big part of Trudeau's visit here. He's hoping they'll invest in Canada. But Trudeau came away without a commitment from the automakers that will follow later, he hopes. I am very much in the relationship uh, building uh, mode. A welcome ceremony before his closed door meeting with his Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe, who will be hosting the G7 summit later this week. A new era of cooperation, he tells Trudeau. Abe is actually pushing for ratification of the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, the TPP. That's the 12-nation trade deal that Stephen Harper signed last year. But Abe will have to wait. Canada is not quite ready. We will be uh, consulting widely, as I committed to. Justin Trudeau will take time off Wednesday before the summit. He will spend the day at a traditional Japanese inn with his wife, a way to find a work-life balance, he says. I am taking a moment to uh, uh, celebrate on uh, personal funds, uh, my wedding anniversary with my wife. After his down day, Trudeau will move 300 kilometers from the capital to the G7 summit in Isishima. A priority for Japan at that meeting, opposing China's increasing military actions in the South China Sea, and he wants the support of the other members. Canada remained non-committal, saying it is against unilateral action and for the rule of law a response that isn't quite as forceful as its Japanese ally would have hoped for. Lisa? All right, interesting. Joyce Napier in Tokyo, where again it is Wednesday morning. Thanks, Joyce.